Needless to say, that day hadn't gone well. But I wasn't going to give up. I made my choice, and I was going to stick with it. I went home that night and got alone with God. He strengthened me. And boy, was I going to need it. Hello students and welcome to your afternoon school news. You know me, Robert Stone. And I'm Leslie Berg and I have only gotten 32 invites to the Bakersfield Bash. Come on guys, you can do better than that. For sure. Today we have an interesting and frankly hilarious story unfolding just outside the locker rooms. For more on the story, we go live now to Donald T. Donald, what's the story out there, man? Hello folks. I'm standing here inside the guy's locker room where I have confirmed reports from a very good source that all of the geeks spray on deodorant has been switched with mace. <laughs> Though some of you think it is very funny. Members of the administration do not share in the humor. I spoke with the physical education teacher earlier today. So, Mr. Walsh, just tell us, how did you react to this horrible prank that happened earlier today in the guy's locker room? To be honest, I laughed so hard. I spit my coffee across the room. Now the teacher's lounge it needs new wallpaper. I told the other teachers too. So if you want my honest opinion, this is the funniest prank I've ever seen in my life. But as a professional, I don't condone this type of prank. And there will be serious consequences to the next pranksters. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. I, Derek Lee, will personally be on the bandwagon of getting to the bottom of this. And I will be investigating live at the Bakersfield Bash. You can count on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you won't. So remember, all you cool people out there, be sure to get your tickets. They'll be sold by the Bakersfield Bash Planning Committee just inside the office door. Make sure and get your tickets because they're selling fast. And, well, that concludes this afternoon's broadcast. You know me, Robert Stone. And I'm Leslie Berg. Have a good afternoon. <laughs> okay, dude, what was up with you yesterday? You totally wigged out on me. Marcus, I, I, I can't listen to that music anymore. You just weren't digging it? No, man, not at all. Okay, the music's out. But what are you bringing, man? What are you bringing to the batch? That's what everybody wants to know. <sighs> Marcus, I told you, I am not going to the Bakersfield Bash. What? Are you crazy? You already promised to bring the entertainment. If you don't bring it, these people will kill you. What is wrong with you? They cannot find out. If we find out what? Huh. Hey, Chanel. What's up? Just came to check on DC. Rumor has it he's not coming. Hey, hey, hey. That's right, I'm not going. What was that, Dee? <laughs> you heard me. I'm not going. Don't even try to be funny with me. Duke, I'm serious. I'm not going to that thing. You're going to be there unless you want some trouble. <laughs> now, Duke, is that any way to talk to the big man? Dee, <sighs> I understand you're under a lot of pressure and everything lately and that you've got all this stuff running through your head and you're scared about the party and everything or whatever, but I'll give you a few days to think about it and please don't let me down. 
D, you are a crazy man. How are you gonna turn Summer down? She's like the hottest girl in the school. Same way I'm turning everyone else down. Oh, um, I got somewhere to go. I can't really give you a ride, man.